Are you a life coach who is wondering, does social media marketing work and can I actually use social media marketing to help me find more and new clients for my life coaching business? Hey, don't worry, I got you covered in this video. We all win when we all win. We all win when we all win. Hey there, my friend, I'm Super Sid. The Marketing Show. And I help life coaches and healers make their first or next 100K in their life coach and healing businesses with profitable presentations. And today I'm gonna to be going over with you and answering the question, does social media marketing actually work and help life coaches and healers find clients online? Let's rock and roll. All right, all right, all right. You know, we always, we wanna get this question answered, but before we actually answer the question in this video of does it work, let's first go over exactly what social media is to begin with so that we can have a good grasp on it and completely understand it as a whole because I believe a lot of people think they know what social media is, but in actuality, what it really is and what it isn't, it's very defining. So let's make sure to go over what it is. Social media has been around for a lot longer than Facebook. I think a lot of people look at Facebook and they're like, oh, that's when social media started. Obviously, Facebook um, was a big part of the social media era, you know, when it came out in 2004, but ultimately social media has been around a lot longer than Facebook. Ever remember MySpace, right? So like social media ultimately is a media, right? A platform that is basically online so that people that go and, you know, go onto that platform are connected to other people and through being connected to other people are able to then see what's going on with those people's profiles or what's going on within that platform, right? So if you really think about social media as a whole, it doesn't matter if it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, which is what you're on here, right? YouTube, um, you know, Pinterest, anything. I, I could go on and on, right? TikTok, right? I can go on and on. Basically, what social media is at its core is nothing more than a blog that is tied together with and connected to a bunch of other people who are on that platform. So what I mean by a blog is it's a way of communicating. It's a way of communicating usually to a list of people a message, right? And on that message, you're able to communicate those messages through your post, right? And inside those posts, you're either writing stories, putting up pictures, visuals, or you're putting in video. Right now with social media, there's a lot of different types of posts that you can do. You know, you can post on your page. You can post on a business page if you want to create a business page. You could also, um, with a lot of social medias, post in stories. And each one of those types of posts give you the opportunity to communicate with people on that specific distribution channel on that platform. What I mean is, is that not everybody looks at stories. Not everybody looks at posts even anymore. Some people just look at stories. So understanding that when you're um, putting that type of communication out to the world, you're doing it on a different distribution channel, even though it all might be social media. So when you're doing this, it allows you to then communicate with, build different distribution channels with social media based around, right, where your prospects are at. We're gonna go over that here in a second in the video. So that you, right, can not just be on social media and scream as loud as you want and post all day over there. Think, no, so you can specifically put posts and specifically lay signs out in specific marketplaces within that social media where people are begging for your help and showing you and showing the marketplace and showing the group and showing wherever they're at, right, that they need your help. So when we're looking at social media, Right? If you take anything away from this video, take away what social media is. It is a blog that is allows you to communicate with the people who are connected with you on that blog. Like the people who are connected with you as friends on your friends list on Facebook. Like people who follow you on, um, on Instagram. Like people who subscribe to your channel on YouTube, right? Or connect with you on LinkedIn. It is a blog and through those people that you are connected with, it is allowing you to communicate with those people what's going on in your life and allowing you through that communication to basically um, you know, lift their emotion and drive behavior to a common thing that you might be promoting in the future. Before I go over the next couple of pieces on how why social media works for life coaches in regards to finding new clients and growing their businesses, as well as some social media tips that you can use in your life coaching business to find more clients and grow your business, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out new and exciting content and new videos every single day showing life coaches and healers how to make their first or next 100K in their life coach and healing business with profitable presentations. Make sure to click that button below and subscribe. All right, so now that you have a really good grasp, a 
probably never heard of social media taught that way, have you? That's, that's cool though, right? That's why I really like, I really like breaking it down to its roots because when you can really look at it, it's nothing more than a distribution channel of communication. This game gets a lot easier. Now, when we're looking at you know, we want, I want to go over with you why social media works. And again, this is probably going to be a different way than a lot of people, um, you know, have, have heard of it before. I think a lot of people look at social media and they see people finding clients on social media immediately. They go to, oh, I can just put post and be like, hey, buy my stuff. And people are just going to buy my stuff. Well, that's not really how you use social media. The reason social media works is because it a, a, um, gives you um, a platform to build your awareness around and it gives you a platform to get seen, right? Our goal with social media on any social media channel is ultimately to get people to to find out who we are and then to get people to like us so that they can start trusting us and wanting to see more stuff from us to get on our list right the goal of social media is to build people on a list and so that we can purposely communicate with that list of people specific things that we're promoting in the future specific products or services that we have or whatever it might be but specific things that these people can do so they can buy from us so don't look at social media as being the place where you're gonna put hey buy my stuff and you're gonna get people that are gonna spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars with you, get people to get onto your list, get on an email list, follow your channels, whatever it might be, so that when you start communicating products and services that you have with right this list or profitable presentations right that with this list then you're going to be able to go out to social media with people who like you already have seen a piece of your content and want to see more of it so you're going to have a lot of those people that are going to sign up for things or a lot more of those people that you're going to have the opportunity right to have sign up for stuff to have it on your list so you can further communicate with those people right get closer with those people as friends and, and build goodwill with those people on your list by helping them so that you can send them in to your offers and send them in to paying you money, right? For your life coaching help. All right, so you kind of know what it is now at a very grassroots level, and now we've went over kind of how it works. A little bit backwards probably for some of you, then you've heard about it in the past. Now let's go over a couple of things that you can do right now so that you can start using social media to find clients. I'm gonna give you two of my best tips here. The first one is we wanna put our flag in the ground, and we call this your profile funnel. Now it doesn't matter if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, if you're on YouTube, if you're on LinkedIn, TikTok, wherever you're at, you're gonna be creating a profile, and on that profile, you're gonna be given different opportunities to build that profile, allowing you to let people know who you are, who you help, and basically where they can go to get that help. So for example, on Facebook, there's four specific places on Facebook where you can put things like photos and links that are going to let you let people know who you are and guide those people exactly to where you can help them. Things like your cover image, your link, um, your profile image and uh, your description below your profile image give you ample opportunity to promote things, let people know what you're doing next, and ultimately let people know about your offers, your products, your services, and ultimately to let people know how they can sign up with you or where they can go and start walking toward signing up with you with the journey that you're about to take with them. So ultimately, you know, you wanna build these profile funnels. So if you're doing one on Facebook, for instance, build that cover image out, letting people know who you are, where, um, you know, who you are, what it is that you do, and how it is that you can help them, right? have a great photo, great professional photo, and ultimately have a description with the link allowing them to go and to get that lead magnet, get that thing that you're promoting. So again, they can get onto your list. This allows you when people see the content that you are, see you in your groups, whatever it is that you're doing on Facebook or any other social media, once they come and visit that profile, they're gonna then know not only who you are, but where they can go to start getting your help. And why do people come to your profiles in the, um, anyway in the first place? They come because they're interested to want to learn more. So make sure that when we get those profile funnels set up, and if you don't know what a profile is, funnel is you don't have one set up or if you want to learn how to set one up I have other videos multiple videos here on my channel that go over specifically how you can set your profile funnel up and specifically how you can use your pro profile funnel to build your list of people who need your help so that you can use this list to sign up more people for your life coaching business so make sure to watch that video on my channel about the profile funnel so you can learn how to set these up and the second thing that I want to go over with you really leans on the profile funnel these work so well together um, um, and what we call this is my friend request hack. Now, we, we call it the friend request hack because ultimately um, the first time I really used this was on Facebook, although you can use this on Instagram and of course you can use this on LinkedIn as well. But what we do is, is for people that send us friend requests or follow requests or whatever, or connection requests in any one of those places, we're then gonna look at that since we built a profile funnel in those places as them opting into something, right? They wanted to be connected with us. So what we do is we acknowledge the fact that they wanted to be connected with us and we start a conversation 
driving that behavior into a place where we can help them. Remember, if they came to say Facebook and they saw our profile funnel, and if you want to see my profile funnel, you can go to my personal page on Facebook. Just go to Sid Clevenger, that's uh, C-L-E-V-I-N-G-E-R on Facebook, and you'll be able to see my profile funnel, how it's laid out, my cover image, my profile image, my description, and you're going to be able to see specifically where I'm guiding you so that you can take the next step in making your first or next six figures as a life coach or healer, right? So ultimately, you know, what we want to do is what's going to happen is when somebody goes to that profile, they're going to be given two options. The first option that we've talked about is to be able to take action on that profile and to get whatever it is that you're promoting. But more often than not, people do not do business with profiles that quickly, really about only one out of 10 people that visit your profile are going to take that action. So what are the other nine people going to do? Well, the other nine people are going to want to connect with you. They're going to want to send you a friend request or a connection request or possibly follow you. What we want to do is we want to send them a message acknowledging that they followed us. And then we want to ask them, what made them decide to want to follow us? By doing that, we're basically basically starting a conversation and driving them into the reason why they followed us in the first place, which usually if they visited our profile, like what they saw, it usually has something to do with them wanting to get our help and it helps us drive them into a sales conversation that allows us to guide them to where we can start getting them my help and start signing up, new, uh, signing them up as a new client for our life coaching business. Are you a life coach or healer who's looking to make your first or next 100K in your life coach or healing business in the next year? Well, I got you covered with a brand new 22 page guide that we just created for life coaches and healers so that they can make their first or next 100K in the next year with my three-step system around building profitable presentations. We call this the 100K Life Coach Launch Guide, and there's a link down here below for you to grab it absolutely free. So make sure to click that link below and grab your 100K Life Coach Launch Guide right now. And don't forget, we all win when we all win. I choose to win today, and I hope you choose to win by clicking that link below and claiming your free 100K Life Coach Launch Guide today. We'll see you in the next video.